Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Rebecca. Today is day two of the Way Better app Pilates Core Challenge. Today's theme is the five ab series, which are quite a traditional mat Pilates core series, but I'm gonna spice it up with my powerhouse ball. You can use any sort of a small stability ball, grab your kid's play ball. Um, mine's about 25 centimeters around, but grab some sort of a small ball and let's get going. First one we're gonna do is our single leg stretch. We're gonna put the stability ball or my powerhouse ball just to kind of my mid back, kind of at the bottom of the shoulder blades. You can find your sweet spot. Then arms are rested here, tilt the pelvis back, one leg tabletop other leg to meet it. Reach one leg long and then switch. Do a nice reciprocal leg movement. If you want to try to up level, woo, that immediately started shaking my abs. You can bring the hands behind the head. Maybe this is a good middle ground for me, but really think about pulling that patella up towards the hip on the straight leg. And gliding the shoulders down. Let's do three more. And three. Reach long for two. And two. One more single leg stretch. One. And one. Bring it tabletop. Lower the legs down. Grab your ball. And sit up for a super duper short rest. All right. The next one of the five ab series is obliques. Some people refer to this as crisscross. And I've come up with this, what I call my signature Pilates 949 with the powerhouse ball oblique exercise. So again, it's going to be at that upper mid back area, hands behind the head. I like the thumbs down my neck to support my neck. I'm going to rotate, extend and try to touch the elbow behind me and then flex and rotate the opposite direction. Same thing, stay facing this direction extend back, maybe try to touch the elbow, flex and rotate, continue with that. Extend over the powerhouse ball, flex and rotate. With control, extend back, flex and rotate. So it's a rotated extension and then a thoracic flexion. Rotated extension, thoracic flexion with rotation. I'm shaking and baking over here. If you can't touch the elbow, that's okay, you guys. Do the range of motion that works best for you to really keep good form and help you feel successful. We're gonna do two more rounds. We got this back, rotate and flex. Extend back. Rotate and flex one more round, extend back, rotate and flex, extend back, rotate and flex. Woo! Bring yourself all the way up. If you're not feeling your obliques right now, then you are super duper strong. Or maybe you need to go back a little further next time. Next is the um, double leg stretch, and we're going to do it in a supine incline position. So nice and controlled. Roll yourself all the way onto the mat. Lift the hips. Slide your powerhouse ball somewhere around that lumbar sacrum area. Slide posterior pelvic tilt where we shorten the obliques. Arms are down. One leg to tabletop. Keep that imprint. Other leg to meet it. Now our double leg stretch, we're going to stretch both legs long. Bring it back to tabletop. Only bring your legs as low to the ground as you can keep that pelvis stabilized. We don't want our back to arch and our ribs to pop. So like I always like to say, put on that internal corset. And then especially in this supine incline position, we want to keep those obliques shortened. So think about that pelvis tilted slightly back to that belly button. I have to focus on not gripping into my Upper trap, so maybe I'm going a little too low. Five more good ones, everyone. Do them with me. Five. Control him. Forceful exhale through pursed lips. Four. Control him. Wrap around that center, hugging all the muscles, front, back, side of the torso, all the way around the spine. Last two good ones. Reach it along for this double leg 
wide stretch and home. Reach along, exhale, and home. One leg at a time, tabletop. Lift the hips, slide the ball out. And I like to do a yummy articulation all the way down. We're gonna stay down here and go right into scissors, but we're gonna make it athletic doing a scissor pass. Thoracic flexion, if this is appropriate for you, tabletop and extend the legs. Scissor the legs and pass. Pass, let's make it quick. 10, 10, and nine. Nine, keep those legs nice and straight. Nice dynamic movement. Pelvis nice and stabilized with this scissor. Reciprocal movement, five more. I probably am doing more than 10, it's okay. Hang with me, four, last three, last two, last one. Woo, we made it. Relax down, one leg at a time down. The last one, we made it. Last one is a lower lift with an adductor stretch. I love this little adductor stretch. Okay, so again, slight imprint, tabletop the legs. We're gonna slide the ball right above the ankle, reach the legs up, thoracic flexion, lower the legs, lift the legs, split and catch. Bring it to your chest, flex, point, place it right below, above your ankles. Lower with control, only as low as you can keep that pelvis stabilized and lift. And work that stretch, flex the feet, lift, lower, inhale. You can always lower the head down if you're starting to feel your neck. That's super important to do. And then just do, continue with the movement with your head down and up. So here, you could do a nice little break. And then up, I like that variation lower. It works really nicely for me, so I'm gonna stick with that. You can stay up if you want, but guess what, you guys? We got five more, down and up. And you can make this quite athletic, or you can make it just very careful, like, oh my gosh, I hope I'm gonna catch that ball. We got this three more of your best ones. Squeeze that ball to work those inner thighs, lift, and lower, and reach. Last two, beautiful form. Focus on attention to detail here. Controlled, and up. Last one, I always say best way. Down, I'm gonna challenge myself a little lower and lift. Lower the head if you want, split. Let's just point, flex, point, flex, reach it up. Lower it all the way down, I'm gonna grab the ball. I'm just gonna do a roll up with the ball in my hands. Woo, my abs are fatigued, I barely made it up there. Let's just switch around on our belly and do a couple swan dive preps just to counterbalance our body a little bit. Legs are turned out laterally about the width of the mat. My wrists are slightly over the ball. Glide the shoulders and lift up, swan dive prep. I love doing a swan dive prep with the ball. I really feel what I like to say, um, cooler or like a rock star, because pushing down the ball helps me to leverage up higher for a bigger range of motion. Last two, glide the shoulders and lift, and lengthen it home. Last one, glide the shoulders down, lift, pause, and lengthen it home. I'm gonna just push back. Legs about the width of the mat, just a little child's pose here. And then I'm just doing a spinal massage to a shell stretch, length into child's pose. Shell stretch, tuck the tail, you're like a little bad dog, and lengthen it out. Last two, and lengthen it out. Last one, we're gonna roll it all the way up. You made it, day two of the Pilates Core Challenge. I hope you'll come back for day three, it's gonna be super fun.